Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome. If you aren't, welcome back. So today I'm going to be doing like an autumn -y kind of theme makeup look. I don't really know like what I want to do today. So I'm just going to play around with you guys and see what we come up with. But I think I do want like nothing too complicated. I don't know. I say that and then it ends up being a bit more complicated. So we'll see. <laughs> okay. So as you guys can see, I've already done my base. So we're just going to do eyes and lips today. Just because you guys probably would be getting bored with my face routine, so I thought I'd just change it up and do the eyes and lips today. So let's get to it, huh? I'm keen. I'm keen. Ah. Do you guys like how sleek the hair is today? It's just this little side but it just keeps popping out. But I'm like loving the sleeked back look. I like messy looks too, but sleek back looks like my favourite thing. Just recently, I don't know why. <laughs> Behind. So to start off, I'm going to do the eyes first, and I'm just going to take this matte brown from the palette. It's a couple shades darker than my natural skin tone. This is the 350 palette, by the way, guys. And what I'm doing, I'm whacking this baby in and out through the crease with just a fluffy 228 brush from Zoeva. And just really whack it through the crease anywhere, guys. It's going to be a smoky eye today, my fave. So it's going to be super, like, yeah, just smoked out. So it doesn't really matter. You don't need any rhyme or reason to this. It's not a cut crease look, so it doesn't need to be, you know, more controlled. You can just whack it in and out through the crease. For me, I personally always like to focus most of it on the outer corner because I'm always a big fan of, like, the elongated eye look. Just because I feel like it flatters my eye shape better. But if you guys like a more rounded eye look, then just focus it from outer to inner corner. Keeping to the ball of your eye. If you'd prefer that. So because it is a transition colour, you don't need anything too intense in the crease. It's just to help the other colours blend seamlessly out together. So I'm going to move on to the next colour. And I think I'm going to grab... I'm going to grab this more mauvey matte brown from the palette and placing the brush on the outer corner of the eye and just blending whatever's left towards the inner, inner corner. And I like to use little circular motions to help buff it out. And I bring it up towards the brow bone slightly and connect it to the corner of my eye. So I'm using lighter pressure as I buff up towards the brow bone, not all the way, just a little bit up. And um, more pressure in the crease so it's more pigmented. And I just kind of glaze over where I want it to kind of soften up, to blend out a little bit. And just, oh, <laughs> I just poked myself in the eye. And just taking a, like, clean blender brush. And I'm just softening the edges so that there's no harsh lines. So it really just blends into nothing. Super smoky. And if you feel like you need to go back in with a bit more of that colour and deepen it up, then... Feel free to do that, that's what I'm going to do, just to deepen it up a little bit. So guys, Halloween is coming soon, I'm so excited for the month of October. I have a few ideas that I want to do for Halloween makeup looks. So if you guys have any like ideas or like requests that you'd like me to do for Halloween, please let me know in the comments section or on Twitter or you know, however. Just so that I can, you know, get the stuff that I need to do those looks. I'm so excited, guys. Like, Halloween last year, when I did the makeup tutorials for it last year, I had the best time. That was so much fun. Because you just get to go crazy. Like, it's all, like, theatrical makeup, which is my favourite kind of makeup. I love doing intricate, really fun, costumey looks. That is literally, like, my favourite. So, I'm so excited. Okay, so once I've gone to this step, it's nice and smoked out. And we've got a bit of a deeper colour in the crease. I'm going to further deepen it up with a deeper brown shade. You know how it goes. 
Next I'm going to mix these two brown shades together from the same palette, the Morphe 350, and just further deepen up the brown. So what I like to do is I like to kind of keep this brown focused more on the eye area, like the eyelid and kind of the lower half of the crease. So that it kind of, when we blend, it smokes up into the like that lighter brown. So I'm just focusing it on like outer part of the lid and through the crease toward the inner corner. Like not quite to the inner corner, like where it's touching, just almost there. So you guys, I started lifeguarding this week. Oh, uh, it's so much fun. It's um, a bit different to swim teaching, like it has a few different responsibilities and <laughs> you're not in the water for like hours and hours and hours, which I love, especially during like winter, it was just so cold. So I'm loving it, I love the people I'm working with. I've started up at another centre, as well as the one that I'm currently working at. So, I'll be working at two places. But I'm just loving it. It's so much fun. And just grab that petite crease brush again, and just soften the edges of that deeper brown with whatever's left on the brush. You don't have to re-dip if you don't want to. If you feel like you need to, then by all means, do it. And finally I take that first blender brush from the beginning and just whatever's on the brush, soften the entrance. Okay, so before we continue with the deeper brown, I just want to um, place some colour onto the lid area. So I want to kind of ready, I don't know, like a burgundy, ready, I think I want a ready kind of colour on the lid. So I'm going to take that corally red shade, I'm just going to pack that onto the lid area. I actually really like that colour, but I do want to deepen it up a little bit, you guys. So I'm going to take this like shimmery, deeper red shade from the same palette. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that's the stuff. Yes. Yes, baby. Yes. <laughs> I'm just kind of making the inner part of the lid area a bit more red because I brought the brown down a bit far. So I'm just kind of carving it out a little bit, I guess, and then just keeping that brown up top so it keeps that smoky look instead of like a cut crease. And then just grab that pencil brush again and just start kind of fading that brown into the red. You're probably going to need to switch between that red and the brown um, to just kind of get that beautiful blend. So you guys, I really want to go and see it. I'm so scared. I love horror movies. Like, I am such a big horror movie fan. And me and my friends, I have a couple friends who are really into horror movies too. So we want to go and see It. And I have heard really good things about it, so I'm really excited. I don't know when I'll go see it, because I'm pretty jam-packed with work at the moment. But I'm super keen to go see it. If you guys have seen it, like, tell me if you liked it or not. So, once you've got like, a nice seamless blend going on, I'm just going to deepen up the brown ever so slightly. Just because I want, I like a deep smoky eye for autumn. So I'm taking this deeper brown shade and just pack it on the outer corner. Just to really deepen it up a little bit and maybe a little bit through the crease too. I'm barely touching the brush to my lid, like my crease. Just kind of helping it blend as I apply it so it's not too harsh. Just going back in with some of that red shade to just kind of re-carve it out a smidgen. And just with those two brown shades from before, just soften the edges. And then going back in with that deepest brown shade and just really deepening up that outer corner and outer crease. And going back in with that petite crease brush and some of that brown shade, that second brown shade. And just blend out the edges. Then grab some of that transition shade on a fluffy blender brush from the beginning and just soften the edges even more. So next I'm going in with a black eye coal and just putting this in my tight line and waterline. You guys can use a brown if you don't want it to be too intense or if you want this to be more daytime wearable. 
You can use a nude in the bottom waterline and just put a black or brown through the tight line to make the lashes look thicker. I'm just going to go in with the black just because I want that really smoky look. Then what I like to do is I like to go in with a black eyeshadow. I just place this on my waterline to set it in place. Now I'm thinking I want to do a bit of liner with this look. So I'm going to grab a black liquid liner and just place that, just your usual wing I guess, on my eyes. And I just clean the edges up with some foundation. Once you've got your liquid liner on, we're going to move on to lashes, and I think I want to do something dramatic today. Let me see, I'll just try out a few lashes, see what I feel like I want to wear today. So I've already applied mascara to the top lashes and my lashes. I'm using the Anitude Feisty Lashes today, and oh my gosh, do they compliment this look so well. Like, mm, 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 I love them. Without further ado, let's move on to the rest of the eyes to finish them off. So going in on my petite crease brush, I'm taking that same brown that we used on it before, that second brown shade, and I'm just going to buff this from outer corner to inner corner, making it pretty smoky. And I always like to make sure that I'm connecting it up with the eyeshadow on top so that there's no there's none of that gap going on. So I just like to connect it up. I don't like so and see how super smoky it is if you have that harsh line like I do here we'll just blend it out in a little bit so don't worry about that done we can fix it super easily then grabbing some of that transition shade on the fluffy crease brush I'm just going to buff out the edges of the brown oh yeah okay so uh, next I'm taking this like Define flat brush from Zoeva. It actually doesn't have a name on the brush. I think it's rubbed off. Dipping it into that deepest brown that we used before. Tap off the excess. I'm just gonna really run that tightly against my lash line, like so. From outer to inner corner, just basically where the lashes are to make them look thicker, more voluptuous, and can bring over a bit of attention back to the lash line. And we'll just blend out this line in a sec, but just make it nice and deep and dark so that it really makes that lash line stand out. That'll do, don't care, that'll do. And then on that um, Zoeva pencil brush, just wipe it off. We're just going to blend out the edges with those two brown shades that we used on the outer corner and crease before. Just softly diffuse the edges. And always connect it up to the corner of the eye. There we go. That is the eyes <laughs> done, baby. Well, that's the eyeshadow done anyway. Let's put on some bottom lash mascara real quick. Real quick. Always like to wiggle and sweep the mascara on both top and bottom lashes to really, like I said, separate them and coat them nice and thick. <laughs> For a simple inner corner highlight and brow bone highlight, I'm just going to use what I used on my high, like the cheekbones to kind of tie the whole face in together. So I'm using this Violet Voss um, highlighting trio, and I'm just taking Moon Gleam on a pencil brush to just pop that on. Uh, a brow bone highlight's good also to kind of diffuse some of that shadow if you've brought it up too high. It's good to try and just carve out the bottom part of the brow bone too. And just to buff out the edges, I go back in with that fluffy blender brush from the beginning to diffuse, to diffuse that harsh line. And I'm actually just going to pop some of that on my cupid's bow because I forgot to do that before. Like I feel like it just makes the lips look so much fuller. Oh, I've got a bit of like a moustache going on. A little bit too much highlight. <laughs> I'm also just working on the bottom part of the lips too to make them look fuller there as well. And for lip colour I'm tossing up between like a, just a red matte lip or like a really deep vampy lip. But I think I might go for the red matte just because I want this to be a bit more wearable. I don't know, like I'm really into deep vampy lips, but I don't know, I just feel like I'm not much going with this one today. Ooh, yeah, actually I think I will. <sighs> ooh, ooh, bang, bang. So I'm going in with this matte chat liquid lipstick from Zoeva. 
And I'm just gonna pump this baby right on. And this is the completed look. Oh yeah. Oh, I am in love with this look. Like autumn girl. Yes. Yes. Oh, full for you guys. Out there, up north. So this wraps up today's tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun filming it for you guys. Just chatting away. Just, you know connecting with you if you guys like I said do have any ideas for Halloween looks then make sure to hit your girl up and let me know down below in the description bar so I can get ready and get to those looks oh, I'm so excited for Halloween otherwise have an amazing day I love you all so so much thank you so much for 1,000 subscribers I cannot believe it you guys truly are so sweet I love you all so much and I'll see you in my next tutorial bye guys